Do you know how much sugar you consume daily? It's a question that might stop many of us in our tracks. Today, sugar is an ever-present ingredient, sweetening our morning coffee, transforming our desserts into irresistible treats, and even hiding in foods we least expect. But have you ever stopped to ponder its story? The history of sugar is as rich and complex as its taste, journeying from the tropical climes of Southeast Asia to become a pantry staple across the globe. And while it's undeniable that sugar can make life sweeter, its effects on our health can be less than palatable. From the risk of diabetes to heart disease and beyond, consuming too much sugar can have serious consequences. But how much is too much? And what are the signs that we might be overindulging? Stay tuned as we delve into the sweet, yet potentially dangerous world of sugar. Sugar, in its many forms, has been a part of human diets for millennia. This sweet substance has a rich and fascinating history that begins in the verdant tropical landscapes of Southeast Asia. It was here around 8,000 years ago that humans first began to cultivate sugarcane. This tall leafy plant was processed to extract its sweet sap, marking the birth of sugar as we know it. As trade routes began to expand, the secret of sugar spread from Southeast Asia to the Middle East. By the 8th century, sugar had reached the palates of the Persian Empire, where it was treasured as a rare and precious commodity. However, it wasn't until the Crusaders brought sugar back to Europe in the 11th century that its popularity truly began to skyrocket. Despite its initial status as a luxury for the wealthy, sugar gradually became more accessible as cultivation methods improved and new lands were discovered. With the establishment of sugarcane plantations in the Americas during the 16th and 17th centuries, sugar began to flow into Europe at an unprecedented rate. Fast forward to today and sugar is no longer a scarce commodity, but a dietary staple. It's produced on a massive scale, with millions of tons of sugar consumed worldwide each year. But it's not just the granulated white stuff that sweetens our morning coffee. Sugar is found in everything from the fruits and vegetables we deem healthy, to the soda pops, candies, and baked goods we recognize as treats. Yet despite its ubiquity, sugar remains something of a paradox. On one hand, it brings us pleasure, enhancing the flavors of our food and providing a quick source of energy. On the other hand, its overconsumption is linked to a host of health issues, from tooth decay to diabetes. Such a long history for something so small yet so impactful, wouldn't you agree? Too much of a good thing can be harmful, and sugar is no exception. When we consume more sugar than our bodies need, we set ourselves up for a host of health issues. One of the most common diseases associated with excessive sugar intake is type 2 diabetes. Over time, our bodies can become resistant to insulin, the hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. This insulin resistance can lead to high blood sugar levels, a key marker of type 2 diabetes. But the health effects of sugar don't stop there. High sugar diets are also linked to heart disease. Consuming too much sugar can lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of heart disease. Moreover, excessive sugar intake can cause inflammation and high levels of triglycerides, a type of fat found in your blood, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. On the topic of obesity, it's important to note that sugary foods are often high in calories and low in nutrients. This can lead to weight gain and obesity, especially if we're not balancing sugar intake with regular physical activity. Obesity is a serious health concern that can lead to other complications like high blood pressure, certain cancers, and even mental health issues. And let's not forget about our teeth. Sugar is a major cause of dental problems, including cavities and tooth decay. When we eat sugary foods, the bacteria in our mouths break down the sugar, producing acids that can eat away at our tooth enamel. Over time, this can lead to cavities, tooth pain, and even tooth loss. These are just a few examples of the health issues that can arise from consuming too much sugar. It's not about completely eliminating sugar from our diets. It's about balance and moderation. We can still enjoy our favorite sweet treats, but we need to be mindful of how much sugar we're consuming on a daily basis. Did you know that sugar can be as addictive as some drugs? That may sound like an exaggeration, but it's backed by science. Studies have shown that sugar, much like certain narcotics, stimulates the pleasure centers in our brain. This is why that first bite of a chocolate chip cookie or sip of a sugary drink can feel so rewarding. You see, when we eat sugar, our brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter that makes us feel good. It's the same chemical that's released when someone takes drugs like cocaine. This is why sugar can be so hard to resist and why cutting it out of our diet can feel like such a challenge. 
But it's not just about the immediate rush of pleasure. Consuming sugar also leads to a cycle of cravings. After the initial dopamine rush, our blood sugar levels crash, leading to feelings of fatigue and a craving for more sugar. This is why after eating a sugary snack, you might find yourself reaching for another one just a short while later. And just like with drugs, long-term sugar consumption can lead to increased tolerance. This means you need more and more sugar to achieve the same pleasurable feeling. This cycle of craving and tolerance can lead to overeating and in turn to a host of health problems. But what happens when you try to cut back on sugar? Well, you might experience withdrawal symptoms similar to those experienced by drug addicts. These can include mood swings, cravings, and even physical symptoms like headaches and fatigue. These symptoms can make it challenging to reduce your sugar intake, but it's important to remember that they're only temporary. Over time, your body will adjust to a lower sugar diet. So the next time you find yourself reaching for a sweet treat, remember, it's not just a sweet tooth, it's a complex physiological response. But don't despair. With awareness and a bit of willpower, you can break the cycle of sugar addiction and make healthier choices. Are you wondering if you might be consuming too much sugar? This is a question we all need to ask ourselves as the warning signs of excessive sugar intake can be subtle, yet impactful. Let's delve into these warning signs so you can be better equipped to recognize them. First off, constant cravings. If you find yourself consistently reaching for sweet treats, even after a hearty meal, it may be an indication that you're consuming too much sugar. This is because sugar can trigger the release of dopamine, a feel-good hormone in our brain, leading to a cycle of cravings and indulgence. Next, fatigue and low energy. Ever felt that mid-afternoon slump after a sugary lunch? That's because sugar can cause a rapid spike in blood glucose, followed by a sharp drop, leaving you feeling drained and sluggish. Then there's the issue of weight gain. Sugary foods are often high in calories and low in nutritional value. Over time, this can lead to weight gain, particularly around the belly. If you're noticing an unexplained increase in weight, it might be worth examining your sugar intake. Frequent illness is another warning sign. High sugar intake can suppress the immune system, making you more susceptible to infections and illnesses. If you're catching colds more often than usual, your sugar consumption might be to blame. Let's not forget skin problems. A high sugar diet can lead to inflammation and hormonal imbalances, which in turn can exacerbate skin conditions like acne and eczema. Finally, mood swings. The highs and lows of blood sugar levels can lead to mood fluctuations, irritability, and even anxiety. If you're feeling emotionally unstable, it may be a sign that your sugar intake is too high. If you're noticing any of these signs, it might be time to reassess your relationship with sugar. Remember, being mindful of your sugar intake isn't about deprivation but about balance. It's about replacing those empty calories with nutrient-dense foods that nourish your body and mind. So listen to your body, it's the best guide you have. It's time to take control of your sugar intake. We've traveled through the fascinating history of sugar from its early cultivation in Southeast Asia to its omnipresence in our diets today. We've explored the potential health hazards of consuming too much sugar, such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and dental problems. We've also delved into the addictive nature of sugar and how it can lead to cravings and withdrawal symptoms similar to those of drug addiction. We've outlined some warning signs that you might be eating too much sugar, including constant cravings, fatigue, weight gain, frequent illness, skin problems, and mood swings. If any of these sound familiar, it might be time to reassess your sugar intake. Be mindful, seek professional advice if needed, and remember moderation is key. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful health tips and advice. Click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Share this video with your friends and family so we can all take steps towards a healthier, happier life together. Let's spread the word and make healthy living a community effort. Until next time, keep the sweetness in your life balanced.